What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This one is the 6 through 10 cars of... Best cars of uh, S1 on ranked online adventure. Road racing obviously. This isn't going to be dirt or... Um, or uh, cross country. So let's get right into it. So this is, I believe, car number six, because I did one through five early. Yeah. So this is car number six, the ATS GT. And uh, I'm just checking to make sure that I get this is the right tune. I have a couple of them. So yeah, this is the ATS GT. This one is a little weird. I think this is the car. There's two cars on the list. This list that. They, um, they don't have race tires on them, and I think this is one of them. It also doesn't have front aero, which I personally don't like. If I can, yeah, this has stock tires on it. So, um, yeah, I if I can, I put front aero on it. I prefer cars that have front aero on them, just because their, their turn-in response is so much better. And they just hold speed through the corners, which I like a lot, a lot more, because that's where I typically do most of my passing is on the corners. That's where uh, that's where you won't get rammed as much is if uh, you pass in the corners, because the corners are the quickest part, the uh, quickest time you can uh, pass. If you're passing on a straightaway, you'll be next to that person for 10, 15 seconds sometimes, and it's just. I don't have uh, much faith in the uh, the Forza online community when it comes to ramming. Um, it's just every single time I'm in a race, I just assume everyone's going to start ramming. There's no uh, there's no uh, dignity, I guess, in online racing. I'm just checking to make sure that um, I'm checking to make sure that I can't just squeeze a little bit more weight out of the car. But here's the uh, the fine tune, I guess you call it. If you're having, um, I think on this car, you can squeeze out a couple more like degrees on the um, on the alignment. So like maybe 2.4, 2.2 in the front, and then like 1.8, 2 in the rear. You probably would be able to turn a little bit better. Um, I'll test that out later on. These are just quick tunes, like I said in the beginning, or the previous video, these are quick tunes that I create just to test the cars out, and then I share them with you guys, and I share, you the, I share the tune with you guys, so yeah. So fast forward up to lap 3, I took that first turn very wrong, um, but I'm not trying to beat my pre previous time, I'm just trying to show you guys that these cars are fast. And that I'm not just saying like, oh yeah, this is the best car you can use. Um, no. The Alpha obviously has the best cornering, but I think it has like a top speed of 202 or 204. It's probably even slower than that, honestly. This, the ATS has a top speed of like 219, I think, if, uh, if I remember correctly. And faster. So where the Alpha lacks in speed, this one will gain as long as you have a, a long enough straight. This on this track, you don't have a long enough straight. So that's why the Alpha on this track is better than the ATS. Next car is the 2010 BMW M3 GTS. It's fairly nimble. I like it definitely. Um, it's strange, uh, this car actually has uh, arrow on it that you don't have to, uh, that's not for it, for the arrow. There's no arrow you can actually put on it. Um, well, I wasn't expecting that.
all these cars are going to be on race suspension. That's just how I roll. Um, I have tried making cars in drift suspension and on um, on rally suspension for street. I mean, you can get away with it, and uh, I mean, obviously, like rally and dirt suspension, it's meant to so you have those very low um, dampening uh, uh, presets to like one and yeah all the way down whereas on race and drift it starts at three so yeah um, let me show you the tune right here now all of these cars uh, like the tires and alignment are pretty much the same just because that's a sweet spot and like I said these are quick tunes um, you can you can squeeze out more obviously on um, on the alignment and uh, the tires. And you can see this car is actually keeping up pretty well with the, uh, the Alpha. I would use this car, honestly. This is one of, I actually pretty much, uh, I love this car, honestly. Um, it's just, I have a, I have a, uh, like a tendency of, you know, just doing, staying with the same car until it fails me multiple times. So once the, um, once the TVR fails me, or, you know, I just have a bad day and I switch it up, I'll probably switch to this car or another car on this list. Alright, so I think this is car number nine. Yeah, car number nine. The um, Ferrari 458 Speciale. Now this car right here I've been beaten by uh, a couple times. Not every time, but a couple times I've been beaten by it. And to be honest, um, I'm not a big fan of this car. I've tried it a couple. Uh, I've tried it a few times after creating it, thinking it was good. Um, you know, it's just. I, I think I was just having a bad day, um, and it, or a couple of bad bad days, and I just got beat by it because I don't see like how it's better than the car I was driving before. So, uh, it, was probably, it was honestly probably um, the guy was a better driver than me. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and say I'm the best driver. I'm not. I'm just decent. Now, you don't have to uh, keep the stock wheels on it. A lot of these cars, I do have stock wheels on them, just because I'm not um, I'm not racing them. I just keep them on there, and the rims are the last thing I change. So. So as you can see, this car is keeping up with the uh, Alpha pretty well, and um, if I was driving a little bit better, I would be keeping up a little bit more. The Alpha definitely has the acceleration on this car. And I don't really remember what the top speed of this car is, but I think it is better than the Alpha. It's just the acceleration to its top speed isn't as good, so the Alpha will pull ahead to an extent, and then you'll catch up at the end of a, a long straight. So, last car, number 10, is the what, AMG 63S? E63? Sorry, I'm... Um, Kind of far away from the screen. Can't really read it.
I obviously go for handling over power. And if you want power over handling, just uh, skip a couple of these steps right here, you know, and uh, and put all that into the engine. I like to be able to hold my my speed in the corners, and if if you're not big on corners and you want acceleration and and uh, top speed, then take all the the stuff I just did on the um, on the tires and put it into the engine. just try to make the best all-around car I can and for me all around is prioritizing handling Oh, I forgot to uh, to adjust the brakes. I'll do that real fast. But everything else seems to be in order. I'm not taking the best turn in that first sector right there. Um, it was really sloppy, obviously. But it's keeping up very well. Actually, this I think this whole lap is sloppy, so I definitely probably could have shaved 0.4 off of that first part, and then, yeah, I catch up right here. Probably could have gotten another 0.4 um, better on this time if I had just had a better first half of the lap. but it's still keeping up pretty well. So. And here's a little bonus car for you guys because I feel a little, a little generous today. This car, I was racing with my buddies and um, this is after the fact of recording the first 10. So just let you know. Um, I was in my TVR, you know, and just racing with my buddies, I was in second place to this car, and it just kept on pulling. It kept, uh, it kept on taking the corners better than I was, I, and it was a fight just to stay in front of this car. And it was, it got first place a couple times. Uh, well, in uh, most of the races, like I barely beat it, but it was more, it was more stressful than it should have been, and. So I, can, I decided to come in, make a tune out of it, test it out. And surprisingly, it's faster than the the um, the Alpha that I've been racing against the whole time. So in this next in this next race, you'll see, or in this next lap, I mean, you'll see that this car is um, it's red, and I'll be racing against it. So yeah, I, I came in after after that and put on a, a quick tune and yeah I'm gonna go back and show you guys how fast it can be so as I said um, I beat my previous best time with this car and I was actually surprised. I, I didn't think it was going to be that fast. But it is. And I don't think I beat it by much. I think I beat it by like 0 0.05 or something like that. But still, for for a car to come that close and beat it, or like not just that close, but for a car to beat it, it's just... That means it's a good car, and I'm going to start probably using this car. Um, I just want to do a couple more things to it before I start uh, racing. Mainly, get used to the car. But as you can tell, I am right behind my ghost, and yeah, it's just it, this is an incredible car. I suggest you try it. 
and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue racing this lap and see if I can beat my time um, so yeah thanks for watching leave a like leave a subscribe comment if you'd like and uh, yeah just stay safe out there I'll catch you later